Hey girl, I told you I'd not do that thing when I do that thing, you see? <laughs> Oh, what's good, Fly Squad? First off, shout out Nody Squad for coming through off the early. Y'all already know. And today, we're going to talk about what goes on behind the scenes in NBA Live. Why the game hasn't been able to be developed the way we would like it to be developed. Why it doesn't play like we want it to play. Why do they have trouble creating a basketball game? What is the issue? That's what we're going to be talking about today. But before all that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications for the best gameplay, for the best news, and speculation right here. That's what we do. Make sure you like the video as well. Like, what? Make sure you like the video. It really helps your boy out. I promise you. We're going to be getting into all of that. I'm going to tell you exactly what I know about what goes on behind the scenes at EA Sports. There are certain things that I can't really talk about, but there is a lot that I can talk about and kind of make you guys better understand why things are the way they are. Now. Before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. Now what a lot of people think is that NBA Live has some huge budget behind them and they have this huge development team, they just can't get it right when it comes to making a basketball game. And you would be incorrect. Yes, EA backs NBA Live. Yes, EA creates NBA Live, and I completely understand that. However, for some reason, they still treat NBA Live like the redhead stepchild. But we are consumers. We don't want to hear that mess. We don't want to hear excuses from the developers. I completely understand that. However, if you're not given the resources, of course, you're not going to be able to implement everything that you would like to implement in the game. Now, with that being said, at this point in time for NBA Live 20, a lot of people feel like EA Sports has already canceled NBA Live and they feel like they're going to delay the game in some way, shape, or form. But in all honesty, I think they're around the alpha stage of game development. That they're really not trying to show off just yet, they're trying to get closer to the beta stage and then once they do that, boom, we may start to see some more gameplay. Now over the last few weeks and few months, we've actually seen some of the mocap they've actually been doing when it comes to street ball players, when it comes to dancers and stuff like that, but we haven't really seen a lot when it comes to 5v5 gameplay and how they're actually going to put that together. And that's something that I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing. Now I'm going to give a bit of a backstory of how EA Sports actually develops NBA Live. And this is more so we can stop attacking devs and hope NBA Live or EA Sports actually invest in their product a bit more in the future because a lot of us are passionate about this game. A lot of us want both games to be good, but right now, one game isn't getting near the funding as the other, and that's really hindering the products that we could have from both companies. Now, as previously stated, EA Sports does have a smaller development team for NBA Live than they have for Madden and FIFA. So how does EA Sports actually get NBA Live to work? But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you a comparison for NBA 2K and how NBA 2K works. Now, rumor has it, NBA 2K has developers working on their game 24-7. Meaning, when I get off work, I have someone replacing me, working on whatever I was just working on. And then when they get off work, they have somebody replacing them for whatever they was working on. And it just continues the cycle from there on out. And not just that, they have specific teams that work on each individual part of the game, whether it's game modes, gameplay, whatever else, they actually have individual teams for every segment of their game. That means for shots, blocks, dunks, layups, steals, pretty much every aspect of the game, there's an individual team assigned to that aspect. It's not like gameplay, it's just gameplay. No, different teams work on different aspects of gameplay. Now, let's compare that to how NBA Live operates. Think about it. If they're doing layups, if one person's working on layups or one team is working on layups, after they finish working on layups, now they have to move to a team that needs help. So they have to work on maybe blocks, maybe even the post game. They have to move around. It's not like they have somebody for every specific thing or if something hasn't been worked on yet. The team that finishes what they already worked on has to work on that thing that hasn't been worked on yet. So it's not like they have individual teams for every aspect of the game. In a perfect world, yes, that would be happening for EA for NBA Live, but it's not right now. So EA Sports works with what they can. 
So hopefully that backstory kind of sheds a little bit of light as to why we haven't seen gameplay for NBA Live 20 yet. Realistically, the game isn't ready to be shown. Let's be honest. Yes, it comes out in three months, but would we rather them show us an incomplete product or something closest to what they're actually going to have once the game actually launches? Now, as y'all know, yes, I went to the EA Studios back in May. And no, I can't really discuss much of my trip, but I can say the developers are hearing us. They are hearing us loud and clear. And if you're one of those people that are on Reddit voicing your opinion, that's the best place, the best place for the developers to actually hear your voice. Now we have gotten pictures and mocap videos of different street ballers and also some dancers for NBA Live 20. And I know a lot of the older guys, they're not really looking forward to that kind of thing and I completely understand because you're looking for more 5v5 gameplay. Which in due time you will actually get once they start marketing NBA Live 20 a bit more. But right now, yes, they're showing dancers, yes, they're showing street ball moves and stuff like that because they do have to sell to kids. Right now, most kids are playing NBA 2K. Now, that's just EA's mindset. That's not to say that they aren't trying to appease the older crowd as well. It's not trying to say that. However, in order to have long-term success, you do have to appease the kids as well. Like, what's going to get a kid more excited? Franchise mode or something to do with park or live run? Just last week, the NBA Live community was in uproar because a lot of people felt like EA Sports needed free roam. And that's a lot of the younger crowd. They want that free roam. They want to be able to walk around. They want that kind of thing. So EA Sports is trying to figure out their way to cater to kids without completely being like NBA 2K. Now keep in mind, they still have a smaller development team. So certain things that 2K can actually implement almost no time flat, EA Sports isn't able to implement those same things, so they do have to take some shortcuts. For example, for NBA Live 19, if you remember, there wasn't really a story mode per se, but they did have social media influencers that kind of told your story for you. And that's one of the main reasons people have trouble playing the league is because they don't feel like there's anything to engage them in the league. They don't feel like it's fun. They just know, play the game, play the game, play the game, play the next game, and just keep on going from there. There's nothing to really interact with when it comes to actually playing the league. Now let's add a few things together. Small development team, low budget, plus not a lot of time because it's an annual release, and you'll get reasons as to why they do things the way they do. Now. I do have a good feeling about NBA Live 20. Now with that being said, the reason I have a good feeling about NBA Live 20 is the fact that they haven't shown anything yet. Some people take this as a bad thing. Personally myself, I feel like this is probably the best marketing strategy EA Sports can take because it's taking its time opposed to releasing every bit of information three months before the game comes out. Now I do have different demographics on my channel so I do have to ask you guys what you want to see specifically when they start advertising the game, when they start showing exactly what they've been doing behind the scenes in the public. Do you guys want to see franchise mode 5v5 gameplay first? For those guys that like to see that kind of thing. Do you guys want to see the one, anything to do with live run? Pretty much the whole one little thing that they have going on there because that is something that they've been promoting for two years. Or do you want to see something to do with maybe Ultimate Team? Maybe they'll show something different. Maybe they'll actually start giving more content for Ultimate Team. What do you want to see more when they start advertising the game? What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a poll in the top right corner right now. And y'all let me know what you want to see once they start advertising the game and stop leaving stuff behind the scenes, you know? But like I said before, I need y'all to go ahead and sub to this channel right here. Turn on these notifications. Make sure you like this video. Only because this is going to be the best place to find gameplay, news, speculation, and anything that you really want to know about NBA Live 20 and NBA 2K20. But for now... That's all your boy Fly Guy got for you. Like squad! Make sure y'all go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps your boy out. Y'all know it. Your boy Fly Guy. I'm out. Oh, what's good, Fly Squad?
first off, shout out Nodi Squad for coming through off the early. I'm telling y'all, I really appreciate that. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and turn on your notifications. I started this video right here for specifically one reason. I sucked at shooting an NBA 2K19.